Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Harry from Hasbro TV, and today we're, we're back with another video about fixing Tottenham. So, again, Santos will talk about some positives, but let's get into it. So, as people have realised, we've changed the three man midfield into a 4 3 3. I'm just going to talk about the change in the dynamic of the team and how obviously Neymar Basuma, <laughs> everyone's pointed to, um, has actually changed the, the way we play completely, actually. And why this three-man field is so significant in terms of comparing especially to last season um, and with under Antonio Conte compared to Ange. Now, as you guys may remember, last season Conte was very, very insistent on playing a 3-4-3, which involved two central midfielders or DMs, however you want to word it, um, in a 4-3-3 with two wingbacks, 3-4-3, sorry, with two wingbacks, which meant that a lot of games, a lot of fans were pointing out that our midfield was exposed outnumbered and you could argue it was reflected in the score lines maybe or maybe the players that we had in the two-man field weren't good enough and people forget that Conte had Kante at Chelsea alongside Matic and players like that. We only had Hoiberg and Bentica and players like that and when Bentica was out we struggled massively. Now Ange has changed us not only to a back four and I've spoken a little bit about the full backs last video actually and now we're going to a 4-3-3 uh, and the three midfield uh, I think I was very big I reflected a lot in the United game because in those sorts of games we struggled the most because United would play a three-man midfield um, in the 4-3-3 so in, in some ways we kind of match them but I think it's made to do with the change in the dynamic now Basuma if you not realise he's played in the 6 and the 8 in the system he's played as in further forward and a sitter, um, just to explain those terms, right? And he's made a massive difference. Now, last season, Basuma was mainly a bench player. Conte, let's be honest, he didn't really want him. Um, he, came, he comes across to me as like more of a sign that the club made, uh, not exactly behind his back, but just he didn't really fancy him. We were linked with Amrabat for a while, if you guys don't remember, and he's apparently off to United this season. Um, so... Um, Masuma was kind of marginalised. He was only brought on to play in the two, and he seemed to struggle. And if you look back to his Brighton days, that's no surprise because he never really played that much in the two at Brighton. Again, they imp Im implemented like a three-five-two, three-six-one, whatever it was, and he had two other people with him. Now, in this formation, the four-three-three, he has two other people with him, whether it be Saar, Skip, Hoiberg came on in the last few minutes. Ben's cool when he comes back. Madison, who unfortunately um, has picked up a knock, so let's hope he's actually back for Saturday. Um, and also, Les Celso might give him give a shot. And fingers crossed we see Kulisewski in the midfield, like I want. But I think that's really changed the dynamic of the team completely, going to a three-man midfield. It's kind of erased a lot of the struggles we had last season in terms of controlling the game. And if you guys don't remember last season when Basim actually played in the three-man midfield under Conte, he looked... A lot better and we had more control of the game and when he when the odd times Conte played the 3-5-2 right if you guys don't remember and I think the 4-3-3 has but especially to me it's the just the having three midfield if you notice a lot of the top sides like obviously I mentioned United in um, this video but Arsenal who are actually playing tonight when I'm filming this play a three-man midfield um, whether it be Havertz nowadays in there or Odegaard or Partey or Declan Rice or whoever other options they're on any, whatever they have in there. Look at City. City tends to play a massive midfield, <laughs> like four sometimes, in the centre or some ilk like that. Of I think they play like a four-one, four-one or four-two, four-one. Sometimes some weird formation, three-two, four-one. And but they they overload the midfield, and coupled with the fact they're playing three in midfield and they overload the fullbacks, as I mentioned in the previous video, you end up erasing the problems which had last season. And of course the midfield. People may argue it is where you have the most possession, as in to, there's the most part, part of the pitch because it's the link between the defence and the attack. Because um, right now it is our strongest part, but to me it's more to do with the fact that, of course, we've got tons of options there. But it's also because of the change in just from just from a two to a three. And it means that you could swap out Hoiberg in even that midfield with Basuma and Madison. You could even you could even put La Celso in with Basuma and Hoiberg. You'd even like there's so many options, and like I said, just changing to the three has made such a huge difference already. We're a totally different team. The dynamic is so different, and as long as we stick with it, 
I think we'll see just a lot more success. And like people have called out for just having more domination of the ball, I guess. And yeah, I just think the change in the three has been a massive dynamic switch for us. And I think Ange will probably stick with this, barring injuries. And a 4 3 3, maybe the midfielders might change the odd game because we aren't in Europe this season. But next season, if we are, he'll probably change it up a bit and mix it up a bit. But on the whole, if he's going to stick with a 4 3 3, we've already seen a massive difference in just the play. But I think it's more to do rather than the defence going to a four, which it's helped the Van der Ven's come in because now we have two competence and the halves, but more just the change to the three men midfield. And to me, that's the massive change that's made the huge difference. Anyway, um, this is my video today, so have a nice day, guys, and come on you